All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's that time once again to meet up and rejoice because I am here to provide the entertainment for y'all. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to keep this intro very short and sweet. First of all, thank y'all for finally getting me over that 200 subscriber mark. It's been a long time coming, but I couldn't have done this without y'all. Listen, 250 subscribers is the next giveaway. So tell y'all friends about this channel, This Week Nerd Stuff, always something interesting going on here. Listen, we are now two weeks away from the big holiday spectacular. We're going to be unboxing a Pokemon Charizard Ultra Premium Collection on this channel. So be rejoiceful because, yeah, that's I guess what you're supposed to do this time of year. But more importantly, listen, look at this. Look at this right here. A 2022 Fitted of the Year nominee little Baltimore Orioles action for you right here, courtesy of Capanova. And now we're going to go back inside the studio to unbox something. I don't want to spoil it yet. Y'all just going to have to wait and see what it is. So as always, ladies and gentlemen, from the Cooper Hewitt Gardens in the entertainment capital of the world, welcome to week 87 of This Week in Nerd Stuff with your boy, me, that cool guy, JT Little. And welcome back inside the studio, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Thank you for staying with us here. As you can see, we got the Yugi Mans out, and we're feeling a little festive this evening because you know what? We are getting pretty close to those happy moments of Christmas, New Year's, and whatnot. So I feel it's time to get ourselves ready for the occasion. And I can't think of anything else to get us better for the occasion of the holidays than by opening up. Dun 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 dun. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's that time of year again. The Yu-Gi-Oh! Battles of Legends set. This year it is Crystal Revenge. Let's get into this. Yes, indeed. Um, I and I know what many of y'all thinking. It's been a while since we've opened up a Yu-Gi-Oh! booster box of something. So we are definitely going to be making up for lost time here. I am now currently like three sets behind. So uh, I promise you I will get all caught up on Yu-Gi-Oh! I promise you that. If I could ever get this darn thing open. There we go. See, th this is why I'm not a professional. Ugh, there we go. Look at that. Battles of Legend. We are good to go. Let's get into this booster box right here. And let's see what we got here. You know what the beautiful thing about this booster box is? It's only five cards per pack. So, and I think I know exactly what I want based off what I've been seeing online. Um, I definitely want the tune reprints. I definitely want some fight first stuff. So that is what we are going for. Anything else is just a bonus to me. All right, first pack of Destiny right here. Let's get into this and boom. I'm not exactly sure what the trick is for this. Is the secret in the middle? Let's find out. Uh, yes, it is. It is in the middle. Odd Eyes, Phantasm Dragon is how we're starting off. Oh, Royal Straight. And an Oily Sin uh, Sinata. Yes. Okay. So now that we got that figured out here, we are going to do the little tricky trick. All right. So we'll put that off to the side. And all right. Here we go. I am going to power through this because I know these booster boxes take a minute. Fortunately though, we only got five cards to get through, so let's go. All right, here we go. Yo, this is a great reprint. Salaman Great Circle, we got us a Black Wind, we got us a Dream Kanata, and ooh, Advanced Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus. Let's go. That looks very nice. Very nice. You know, this is a great opportunity for all you Crystal Beast players to bling out your deck. And you know what? I hope that you do that because Crystal Beast is the wave right now. They just got a structure deck, which I will definitely unbox on this channel at some point. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. All right. There we go. More Crystal Beast support. We got us a Dream Shark, a Toolbox, G Golem Pebble Dog, and ooh, number F0, your Topic Dragon Future. That's a baller card right there. Don't mind getting a couple of those. Yes, indeed. All right, we're up to pack number four. Still looking for them tune cards right there. Please feel free in the comments if you've opened up Battles of Legend, what you are looking forward to seeing pulled. I hope that you've been able to get your Battles of Legend sets. 
doodle book uh, uh, oh oh that's an interesting archetype i gotta give that a quick listen uh an advanced crystal beast amber mammoth oh we're on a roll with these crystal beast cards okay all right let's keep it going i'm just gonna power through these right here i wonder if i should even keep up with the trick i don't know we'll see we'll do it for maybe like about four or five more packs and then we'll take it from there crystal beast amazon hall oh you can get amazon cards in here nice Blackwing and Advanced Crystal Beast Emerald Turtis. Uh, I think I think the Yugi guys are trying to tell me something. Play Crystal Beast. Play Crystal Beast. All right, all right. Honestly, for as old as that archetype is, I really, really don't know how it works. Like, like I know you're trying to get out Rainbow Dark Dragon or Rainbow End Dragon or some Rainbow Dragon. Oh, Thunderball, Duke Devlin card, nice. Stone Hedge. G Golem Rock Hammer, Crystal Beast, and then Black Wind Wayu Emblem of Honor. Cool beans. How is it that I've already opened up this many packs and not pulled one tune or fight for it? What is going on here? Come on, you slack. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. We want something good. We want a good pull. All right. Here we go. We got us a Dot Base, Dragon Nails, Took. Uh, wow. Can't even pronounce that one. Dragon and Akaki Mirror Supplier. Oof, haven't seen that art type in a minute. All right, there we go. I think we're moving along quite well here. I'm really gonna try and power through this booster box here. I'm gonna go at a lightning speed rate. Thank goodness it's only five pack. Now we're talking edging chain, yes. First one of those, let's go. All right, we got a Sasenko, Morphtronic, and then a Dual Beast Stego, litty lit. That's what I'm talking about right there. First Doodle Beast card. Very nice. Very nice. All right. I've lost track of how many packs we've gotten into, but I say we're up to pack nine. Maybe ten. Who knows? All right. We got us another Dana Base. Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon. G Golem Stubborn Meaner. G Golem Crystal Heart. And a Clockwork Knight Secret Rare. All right. There we go there. What else do we got going on here? Uh, so I guess this is a good opportunity to like let you know what I've been scheming about like I'm thinking since we're do oh dungeon dice nice oh what am I saying dimension dice can't even read good lord all right ah first tune card tune harpy lady lit 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 dream canada and evil twin key skilly is that how you pronounce that this is my bane of Yu-Gi-Oh I cannot pronounce any of these words all right there we go we'll put that right there that's a nice card to pull so anyway like i was saying like um you know i've been scheming about some thoughts and i'm thinking uh if you follow the ig at this week nerd stuff by the way you'll notice that we do fitted fridays every friday and i'm thinking maybe we should make that a full-time thing on the youtube channel huh what y'all think what y'all think we bring fitted fridays to youtube leave it in the comments Please, please, I need all y'all input. What do y'all like to see on my channel? Do y'all have a preference? Are y'all liking Yu-Gi-Oh? Are y'all liking the Pokemons? The Funkos? Like, let me know. Like, what what did, what do y'all really like to see? Because I do a lot of everything here. Oh, throwback. Blackwing Borrowed a Spear and another Kakimura Supplier. Hmm. For those watching at home right now, can y'all let me know if I've been pulling anything good? Like... For some reason, I feel like this has all been a little lackluster so far. That just probably might be me not really paying attention to what's going on in the Yu-Gi-Oh world. Yes, second in second edge and chain like that. I know is good. There we go. G Rock Hammer, Dana Tank, and a number two Ninja Shadow Mosquito. Nice. Let's pull us a new number card here. Now we're on to the next one. So, yeah, and also got to promote the fact that two weeks away from our big holiday special, let's go. I know y'all Pokemon fans is going to look forward to that one. We are going to be unboxing an ultra premium collection Charizard box. Oof. Can't wait to get my hands on those, those promos. Oh, my gosh. I really wish that they were in the set. Oh, but listen, the fact that everyone can pull one. Oh. So good, so good. Thank you, Pokemon. Thank you, Pokemon, for that. And thank you, Konami, for this box, you know. Love it, love it. I love pulling ultra-rare sets. 
I love pulling secret rares and oh, that's a beautiful card. Armatist the Majestus Moon Maiden? Okay, okay. Please forgive me if I pronounce any of these cards wrong. You know, gotta remember kids, reading is fundamental. All right, where are we up to now? We're up to another pack. Is this pack 13, 14, something like that, some magic number. All right, there we go. Got us a Stonehenge, we got us an Oli Kanata, Performer Pal, Odd Eye Seer, Fright for a Patchwork. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. And then another Advanced Crystal Beast. Hmm, I'm really gonna have to look into those Advanced Crystal Beasts. I feel like I'm pulling them like crazy. All right, there we go. Two in front, Amazon's Hot Spring, Black Wing, Advanced Dark, Gadget Box, and then an and shuffle. All right, throwback card. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, I have to apologize in advance due to a slight technical error and something I didn't realize until too late. The last several packs of the unboxing were not featured in the video. I am sorry about that. Uh, but to just uh, briefly on what we missed yes we were able to get our playset of the edge chain and unfortunately we were only able to get two fright for patchwork so it looks like we're going to have to open up some more battle of legend crystal revenge which i'm perfectly fine with <laughs> but yeah just a, a, a quick look it looks as if we did get most of the advanced beast stuff right over here we did get some very dope extra deck cards yes 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 we did get a couple of the uh, Doodle Beast cards as well. Very nice to see there. Um, yeah. And let me just zoom in on the fight first stuff. Yeah, that's the star of the show right there. Yeah, so unfortunately, um, I'm sorry that we didn't get it all on the film there, but that's okay. That's okay. I hope that, you know, that this is still going to turn out to be a great episode as always. And I appreciate y'all coming back to the channel. Uh, please, please, please like, comment, and subscribe. It was a great video up until that point. Um, I know next week, probably some more hats. Week after that, holiday special, Charizard Ultra Premium Collection unboxing. So I look forward to that. Uh, please do follow the TikTok, This Week Nerd Stuff. We got some, we've had a great run with the polls there. Please follow the IG, also This Week Nerd Stuff. Always have the updates and highlights for there that y'all to check out. And you know what? Until next week, ladies and gentlemen, please come back and cue that applause.